the entire Proverbs 6 wisdom explained. Proverbs 6 is a chapter in the book of Proverbs in the Bible that contains several pieces of wisdom and advice for living a virtuous life. Here is an explanation of the entire chapter verse by verse. Verse 1. My son, if you have put up security for your neighbor, if you have struck hands in pledge for a stranger, this verse warns against co-signing a loan or guaranteeing someone else's debt as it can lead to financial ruin. Verse 2. You are snared by the words of your mouth. You are taken by the words of your mouth. This verse cautions against making rash promises or commitments, as they can have unintended consequences. Verse 3. So do this, my son, to free yourself, since you have fallen into your neighbor's hands. Go and humble yourself. Press your plea. With your neighbor, this verse advises taking swift action to resolve a debt or obligation, including humbling oneself and negotiating with the creditor. Verse 4. Allow no sleep to your eyes, no slumber to your eyelids. This verse encourages diligence and hard work in resolving financial obligations. Verse 5. Free yourself, like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter, like a bird from the snare of the fowler. This verse uses vivid imagery to emphasize the importance of escaping financial entanglements and gaining freedom. Verse 6. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider its ways and be wise. This verse encourages learning from the industriousness and diligence of ants which work hard to gather and store food. Verse 7. It has no commander, no overseer or ruler. This verse highlights the independence and self-sufficiency of ants, which are able to work together without a central authority. Verse 8. Yet it stores its provisions in summer and gathers its food at harvest. This verse emphasizes the importance of planning ahead and preparing for the future. Verse 9. How long will you lie there, you sluggard? When will you get up from your sleep? This verse admonishes laziness and procrastination and encourages taking action to improve one's life. Verse 10. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. This verse warns against the dangers of complacency and laziness, which can lead to missed opportunities and failure. Verse 11. And poverty will come on you like a bandit and scarcity like an armed man. This verse emphasizes the consequences of laziness and lack of effort, which can result in poverty and hardship. Verse 12. A worthless person, a wicked man, goes about with crooked speech. This verse describes the characteristics of a wicked person who uses deceptive language and engages in evil deeds. Verse 13. Winks with his eyes, signals with his feet, and motions with his fingers. This verse describes the subtle and secretive behavior of a wicked person who uses nonverbal cues to deceive others. Verse 14. Who plots evil with deceit in his heart, who always stirs up dissension. This verse emphasizes the destructive nature of a wicked person who causes conflict and strife through deceitful and malicious actions. Verse 15. Therefore disaster will overtake him in an instant. He will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. This verse warns of the consequences of wickedness, which can lead to sudden and irreversible destruction. Verse 16. There are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. This verse introduces a list of seven things that are particularly abhorrent to God. Verse 17. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, this verse lists three sins related to pride, deception, and violence. Verse 18. A heart that devises wicked schemes, feet that are quick to rush into evil. This verse lists two sins related to evil intentions and actions. Verse 19. A false witness who pours out lies and a person who stirs up conflict in the community. This verse lists two sins related to dishonesty and causing discord among people. Verse 20. My son, keep your father's commands and do not forsake your mother's teaching. This verse emphasizes the importance of honoring one's parents and following their wisdom and guidance. Verse 21. Bind them upon your heart forever. Fasten them around your neck. This verse encourages keeping parental teachings close to one's heart and mind as a constant source of guidance and inspiration. Verse 22. When you walk, they will guide you. When you sleep, they will watch over you. When you awake, they will speak to you. This verse emphasizes the protective and guiding role of parental teachings, which can provide direction and comfort in all aspects of life. Verse 23, for these commands are a lamp, this teaching is a light, and the corrections of discipline are the way to life. This verse highlights the value of parental guidance, which can provide illumination and direction in life, and help one avoid pitfalls and dangers. Verse 24, keeping you from the immoral woman, from the smooth tongue of the wayward wife. This verse warns against the dangers of sexual immorality and the deceptive allure of a promiscuous woman. Verse 25, do not lust in your heart after her beauty or let her captivate you with her eyes. This verse cautions against the temptation of sexual desire, which can lead one astray and cause harm. Verse 26, for the prostitute reduces you to a loaf of bread 
and the adulteress preys upon your very life. This verse emphasizes the destructive consequences of sexual immorality, which can lead to loss of dignity, resources, and even life itself. Verse 27. Can a man scoop fire into his lap without his clothes being burned? This verse uses a rhetorical question to emphasize the foolishness of engaging in sinful behavior, which can have disastrous consequences. Verse 28. Can a man walk on hot coals without his feet being scorched? This verse uses another rhetorical question to emphasize the inevitable consequences of sinful actions. Verse 29. So is he who sleeps with another man's wife. No one who touches her will go unpunished. This verse warns against adultery, which is a violation of the marriage covenant and can lead to severe punishment. Verse 30. People do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his hunger when he is starving. This verse acknowledges that there may be extenuating circumstances that lead someone to commit a crime, such as stealing to feed oneself or one's family. Verse 31. Yet if he is caught, he must pay sevenfold, though it costs him all the wealth of his house. This verse emphasizes the importance of accountability and restitution for wrongdoing, even if it comes at a great cost. Verse 32. But a man who commits adultery lacks judgment. Whoever does so destroys himself. This verse emphasizes the self-destructive nature of adultery, which can lead to the loss of one's reputation, relationships, and well-being. Verse 33. Blows and disgrace are his lot, and his shame will never be wiped away. This verse describes the consequences of adultery, which can include physical harm, public humiliation, and lasting shame. Verse 34. For jealousy arouses a husband's fury, and he will show no mercy when he takes revenge. This verse warns against provoking a spouse's jealousy, which can lead to anger, violence, and retribution. Verse 35. He will not accept any compensation. He will refuse a bribe, however great it is. This verse emphasizes the unyielding nature of a wronged spouse's desire for justice, which cannot be bought off or appeased with material offerings. In summary, Proverbs 6, 35 emphasizes the importance of honoring one's parents, avoiding sexual immorality and adultery, and being accountable for one's actions. It warns against the destructive consequences of sinful behavior and highlights the value of parental guidance and discipline in avoiding pitfalls and living a virtuous life.